welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke. So we are here in Aether Paradise, where things are going down. Lily has been taken, uh, along with Cosmog, and we are here fighting Aether Foundation employees. We fought Faba here, and uh, because we fought him, he is now taking us down to uh, the bottom floor. So let's go to... Oh wait, no, we don't want to go to the docks. That's where we came from. Damn it, this is not what I wanted. I think we have to talk to... Gladion to go to progression. Thought we just press the elevator button. Cause you know, they're all waiting for me to get on the elevator. But no. There we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, let's go. So shit's gonna get real today. Shit's gonna get really real today. Oh. See, we beat him. He offered to... Put in the code to get us to the bottom, but hey, he's got something else planned. Everything looks the same. I guess it's only been two years, though. Wow, well, it's like a secret hideout! Don't get too excited, Hal. Though, I guess it's better than freezing from fear and nerves. So, where do we go now? There are two labs up ahead. I'll check the first lab, Secret Lab A. You two check out Secret Lab B. It's the second lab down the hall. Why do you get the first one? And why do you know all this? Just focus, Hal. Think you can do that? We can't trust Faba. I'm sure he's already told half the Foundation all about us. We didn't even answer my question! I know what it's gotta be. Nerves, huh? I reckon you're more afraid to be here than the rest of us, huh, Gladion? Here, Poldo, you take this! Max Revive. Oh, I'm so glad you gave me that, because I can definitely use that. <laughs> Lily must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this! So I don't believe there's anything else we can do other than go that way. Yeah, like these don't actually open and there's nothing else in this room. So let's head over here. Hello. I would like one of your helmets, please. Intruder spotted. We'll protect your secret labs. Like, I, I don't know what it is about these helmets. They're just so super sleek, really cool looking. I want one. Like, look at that. It's kind of like a gas mask built in. I don't know, it's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, you have a muck. Okay, this could be okay. Uh, we have Aerial Ace if he starts being scummy in the back. But I want to rock out with Snappy. I want Snappy to get them levels. Uh, so let's hit up with the Bulldoze. Does Snappy... You know what? This is something I didn't even think to check. Uh, that muck lived. God damn. And speed drop, of course. Knock off. You can't knock off a Z item. Alright, catch another bulldoze. And Cerebi doesn't want to load right now. Cerebi, please. There you go, now it loaded. Um, does Krokrok learn Earthquake by level up? Or is it one of those weird things where it has to be a TM only? I hope not. What the fuck is it? There it is, Croc Croc. Or Crocodile, whatever. Uh, it does. Oh, 54? God damn. Alright. That's a long way away. The only researchers like us here in the secret labs. Looks like I'm next. I'll show you the power of Vaith of Paradise. At least we get more of this music. I think we're gonna get some other real good music toward the end of this as well. So I do want to get to that point. Foundation Magneton. Okay. Another Mon. This should... Well, unless you have Sturdy. It should one-shot. But you could have Sturdy. Uh, you do. You definitely do. But what are you going to do with it? Metal sound, ayyyy! I mean, we outspeed anyway. So not, it's not like that metal sound dodge mattered, but you know, plot armor. All right, two down. And one to go. We're currently working on development of a new Pokeball. It's apparently to be used to catch Pokemon not found in Alola. How about I guess uh, what you're looking for? Cosmog, right? If you want to know what kind of experiments we did with it, then you have to beat me. Well, I just beat these two right in front of you. 
So, what do you think is going to happen? What do I... Or, what, pour it all... Well... I guess it could have... Well... I don't think trainers have TM moves in this game. Do they? You can trace my moxie, that's fine. Um... You know what? I'm gonna just go for the bulldoze. Because... Via level up, sure, Pori... I mean, not level up. Via, via TM, Porygon gets... Oh, look at you. Gets Ice Beam, but... I don't think you're gonna pull out Ice Beam on me. Such a brutal swing. Rick... Okay. Okay. This is what we're doing, huh? We're doing this? Yeah. You know what? We are going to make sure. We're gonna... S I'm gonna swagger him. Oh my god, you have signal beam. Oh! <gasps> Are we, wait, okay, does ground, are, are we neutral to that, or are we, no, we are weak to it, okay. Hmm. I feel like Snappy has this, though. I'm gonna foul play. Oh, come on, hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh, recover. How far does that get you? Okay, foul play knocks it out. You're at plus two, because of swagger. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Let's go, Snappy. You really, uh, you really do just win, don't you? Honesty seems, honesty seems like the way to go. Like I said, I just beat your two friends right in front of you. What did you expect? All I can tell you is that Cosmog is the key. It's the tool we need, we need it to open the Ultra Wormhole. But I'm no good at battling, so I'm out of here. This guy's like, uh, 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 yeah, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> if I just walk forward, he'll move. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. It's not here. Don't even think about getting in here. Me and Null, we're more alike than we might look. We, we're both what we're made to be. It's like an ornament to my mother, or I was like an ornament to my mother, wearing whatever she told me to wear, acting however she wanted me to act. Null was crafted just as carefully. It was made to battle the beasts in this room right here. So, give me that, and in we go. Hello. How are you? Oh, how, hi. How? What are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. The research is this research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? What you got? Is this gonna be a double battle? Yes it is. Okay. One mon each. You got a Machoke and a Vanillish. Alright. Is this a Snow Warning Vanillish? Cause you do get Snow Warning in this game. Raichu. Uh, hmm, Snappy being here, I don't like, but at the same time, I don't trust Hal. I don't trust Hal at all. I'm gonna go, hmm, I, hmm. I'm gonna go into Macho, I suppose. Alright, Hal. Don't be dumb. Don't kill me, either. So you've not seen the, the stream highlight that I uploaded a few weeks back on my channel, thank you. Um, we're nearing the place where that all went down. We are nearing that battle. Where Hal just decided to Z-move me. Um, if I can remember, I'll, for those of you who may not have seen it, uh, I'll try and link it in the description, or put it in the comments or something down below. Maybe I'll put it, like, on a card, or, s I'll, I'll do something. But, uh, if I, if I don't remember, just remind me in the comments, and I'll, I'll get that to you if you haven't seen it. Alright. 
I may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm no expert when it comes to battling them. But the guys in Lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long researching that uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey, focus people! Where where are Lily and Cosmog? We may have lost, but this doesn't mean we're gonna help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. See, that's how it should be. That is how it should be. It's like, what does a po what does losing a Pokemon battle mean to anyone? Like, like, okay, you beat me. What is that gonna do? You force me to talk? No, I'm just gonna walk away like them. Come on, Poldu, let's split up and look around. Maybe we'll find some clue. Like this very bold blue book. It's report ultra wormholes. Beyond the ultra wormholes that Professor Moan discovered lies a different dimension. By investigating the changes in mass there, we can predict the existence of Pokemon-like life. We have dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. Eighth report, Cosmog. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of Ultra Beast that hails from another dimension. A dimension that we have named Ultra Space. When placed under sufficient stress, it reveals the power to create and open ultra wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the ultra wormholes created when Cosmog is subjected to extreme stress. Yeah, it's fucked up. Wait, so Cosmog might be an ultra beast? We should tell Gladion about this! Alright. Did you find anything? We learned a, a bit about Cosmog. Like, it might be an Ultra Beast or whatever. And if you stress it a lot, it can create Ultra Wormholes. Maybe to run away or something. If you stress it, if you hurt it, is what you mean? Well, uh, was that why she ran away with it? Well, we didn't find any sign of it down here. Yeah, Faba probably knew this would be a dead end. Darn, did he outsmart us? He might have. Gladion never really explains anything, huh? Probably thinks it makes him look cool. Should we go after him? We all got into this together. Might as well see it to the end together. Alright. So before we do that, we're gonna hop in here. Because he's not blocking the way anymore. There is a full restore. And there's something loaded on the screen. Okay. Would you like to see introduction, multitasking, hedging risk, massaging the truth? Yeah, that's a lot of reading. I think this is also a bunch of reading. Especially looking deleted files. I didn't. Oh yeah, this this is just about ultra beasts and whatnot. I can't be bothered to take the time to read that. It's it's lore stuff about things we haven't seen. Essentially. Alright, uh, entrance. Is he gonna be meeting, uh, oh. Poldu! Hmm. Even beaten down, old father doesn't change, does he? What do we do? Beat whoever stands in our way. What other choice do we have? Fine, fine. We can do that, but do you have to say, hmm, all the time? Hello, children. I'm afraid Branch Chief Faba has given us orders regarding you three. Now that you've learned of the darkness at the heart of Aether Paradise, we'll need you all to conveniently disappear. Whoa, Poldu, battle with me! What do you mean, battle? Do you not handle- hold, hold- hold down the fort yourself. You mean battle with me, man? You're not strong enough to do two- two on one? You'll never beat Hollow that way. <laughs> a Mudsdale and a Pelipper. Alright. Uh, well. Snappy doesn't like this. Because that is a Pelipper. Um. This frame rate is very disgusting. Let's go into Shigure. And hopefully, how does something? It's not dumb. Or discharge. That is body. Oh fuck. What did you do? Please tell me that's on Pelipper. Thank you. Alright. Well, this thing's biting, huh? I'm gonna baby dollize it. I don't wanna get hit with that bide. Because bide targets whoever attacks it last. 
We might be able to. Oh. So we might be able to kill it if we if I attack there, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm not trying to get hit with this bide. And maybe it all eyes again. Wait for bide to hit Hal at the end of this turn, or right there. Yeah. See, look at that. He lived. How you lucky fucker. You are so lucky you lived that. Alright. Sparkling Aria. That hits how as well. But fuck, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, that gets Shigure to level 46. You guys are dazzling, horribly sparkling. The children of Alola who aim to be the champion through the island challenge. They're not to be underestimated. That's right. You ain't standing up to me. Ridiculous. Have the children of Alola always been this strong? That's what you get when you go through the trials of the island challenge. Now that you understand, how about you get out of our way? Ooh, thanks, Boldo and Crocodile. When you're fighting a battle you can't afford to lose, you really can't waver at all, huh? Let's go. You know... I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said at Battle Royale Dome at the Battle Royale Dome that day, Hal. About how people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you were right. Young Master. And here is Wick. Is this the first time we've seen him? No, no, we saw Wick the first time we were here. Yeah, she gave us the TM for Psychic. Oh, what do you mean, young master? It's been a long time, and hello, you two, Poldu and Hal. Please allow me to heal your Pokemon. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's happened to Lily? Do you know anything? Uh, I imagine that she is with the president. Then that's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. The president? That's Miss Lusamine, right? She's a really nice person, so I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's real nice, as long as you mean nothing to her. I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? That's not stopping me. Alright. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do to a locked door, but, uh... Please look after young Master Gladion. When he's, work up, when he's worked up about something, he doesn't consider the consequences. Even going as far as stealing the Pokemon. Those two truly are very much alike. Alright. There he is. My, my, what naughty children. You should just lay your heavy heads down. But I knew that you would struggle onward. I could see through every action you would take. So I knew you would try to reach the president. And that is why I knew that I would be able to ambush you here and remedy the previous failure. The only time I let you in the lower floor, or the only reason I let you in the lower floor was to buy time to gather more staff to stop you. So, uh, Mr. Faba, do you have the key to the president's rooms? Indeed, I have it right here. So, if you just stayed hidden, we would have been stuck here anyway, right? Oh, oh what? <laughs> e enough, you lot. Teach these children a lesson. We don't have time for this. Help me out here, Poldu. Alright, so we're gonna have a double battle alongside Gladion this time. And, holy fuck. Eh. 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 All right, plugged in. Whew. I looked down, my DS is flashing red. I was like, no, I haven't saved. No. Okay. Magmar and Electabuzz. This is a good lead for me. Snappy walls both of them. As long as they don't have fighting moves, which they both have access to. <laughs> but this was fine, because Bulldoze hits both of them. Oh my god, this... Golbat is the worst for double battles. Golbat and Crobat? Oh my god. They both lived? I mean, if it was single target, they would have died. But, because it was weakened from spread. Thunder Punch on... Yeah, get him out. He's lagging the entire field. Alright, Magmar down. Thank you. 
and brutal. Th ah, the, okay. It's like the lag made me go down twice to swagger. I'm glad it wasn't just immediately. Hey, <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> Look at that. Fuck that goal bat. Get that lag out of here. Snappy Ant level 44. Guess it's, it's back to honest Pokemon conservation activities for me. Listen to you generated dark feelings in me. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I I have caused you some some deep uh deep pain. Ah, how can this be to be cornered by mere children? Maybe helping one another out isn't so bad. We'll do hell. I leave Faba to you. This is where it happened. Enough! I will show you the true power of Brent, power of Brent, Chief Faba, the man who is called Eighth of Paradise's last line of defense. We will settle this uh, at last with a multi-battle. Come on, Poldu, let's show him just what our Pokemon are capable of for Lily and for Cosmog too. So, if you pick Rowlet, how has Poplio? And it is a Primarina in this battle. With a Z Stone, with the with the Primarina Z Stone, I think it's Primarium Z or something like that. So the way it that works, if you're using Primarium Z, because you need Sparkling Aria to set it off, is because Sparkling Aria is an all hit move. Snappy does not like this whatsoever. Um, because it's an all hit move. It targeted me. So I'm sitting here. I had uh, Zygarde 10%, the, the dog form. I'm sitting here like, uh, let's just set up Dragon Dances. And all of a sudden, I am just not here anymore because he Z moves. I'm like, ooh, how's gonna put someone down? And it was just me. He put me down. And I was so mad. You, ju you just psychic to let how what the fuck are you doing thunderbolt yeah you deserve to get hit with this like what so you have an electro ball and you psychic a Ledian. It could be dead right now. Instead of setting up both light screen and reflect. Because now it's going to eat this. This is all Hal's fault. Wow. Okay. We got double crits. Alright. And Jigure will eat that psychic. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I don't trust how. I'm gonna Aqua Jet Slowbro. I do not trust him. All right, Bruxish coming in. Um, that is Psychic Water. A Moon Blast it. We do have. What's well, a Physical Attacker? All right, that takes Hal down. That's fine. And catches Moon Blast. Nice. That would have killed if he didn't have Light Screen up. Incineroar. <laughs> because I'm an asshole and I des I desire payback. I'm doing this. Fuck you, Hal. That's right. Get that shit out off my screen. Leafeon. I want it. I mean, I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> it's still gonna go off. <sighs> Catch some of this, Hal. That's right. Alright, Reflect War off. Hypno. 
Uh, well. I mean, I guess let's go for a Moonblast? Hypnosis. Fuck you. Can we turn one wake? Nope. Giga Drain. Why do you have a Giga Drain on a Leapion? How? What the fuck are you doing with your life? That's a physical attack. God damn. Let's go out into Snappy. Yeah, that's right. Get predicted. Trying to psychic me? I don't understand. Giga Drain Leafion. You deserve. You deserve every bad thing that happens to you. Like this brutal swing. Would have been great if I killed him. <laughs> Here's an impression for you. I. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Here's a copy. Alright, whatever. I want to save Lily, so I'm going ahead. You don't mind, right? I'm just here with a deadpan stare. You didn't have to hand it over, either. Thanks for the key, Mr. Faba! This is why... This is why I can't bring myself to like children. I mean, children suck. Definitely agree there. All right, so before we head out there, we're gonna hop back over here. Wait, do we get a full heal out of nowhere? All right, whatever. Game didn't tell me that. <laughs> so out we go. Oh yeah, we have all this shit. There's a lot more left than I thought. I forgot about all this. Whoa, there's like an Uku billion Team Skull thugs in this place. Uku, all right. So the foundation really was working together with Team Skull? This is like way too mind blowing to think about right now. Well, dude, let's knock some skulls together for now. All right, well, because I forgot about all that, I'm gonna wrap up the episode here because we do definitely don't have time to do the rest in one sitting right now. So, next episode for sure we will knock out the remaining uh, portion of Aether Paradise is the, the main, you know, big portion of Aether Paradise because, you know, Team Skull's here now. It's like, what the fuck? So shit's about to go down. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.